Hi, I'm Mark Miklich, Technical Product Manager for Small Character Technologies here at Squid Inc. On today's video, we're going to discuss troubleshooting the clean jet process for our Jetstream CIJ printer. All right, some of you might be wondering what clean jet is for or what it is. Um, what clean jet is with the Jetstream printer is when we start the system up at the beginning of the day or the beginning of production or when we shut it down at the end of the day or end of production. It's the automatic cleaning process the printer does uh, specifically uh, with the print head to make sure our critical print head hardware components are cleaned out, uh, flushed free of ink so we can uh, have a much more successful startup the following day. If we're troubleshooting the clean jet process, uh, typically what's going on is maybe we're not having very successful startups, okay? So when we start the system up, when we start jetting, uh, we start jetting with cleaning, uh, maybe we notice that the inkjet is deviated, you know, we're having a mess at the print head, maybe some ink is dripping. That might be a good indicator that the cleaning portion of the startup and subsequently also shutdown isn't func uh, functioning properly. So we're not properly cleaning out the print head, uh, resulting in you know, ink being left over, which is then drying up and maybe clogging up our, our nozzle or some of our components. So uh, we're gonna take a look at how the clean jet process works at startup and shutdown, uh, what hardware components are involved in that process and how we can troubleshoot those components to make sure that they're functioning properly. Okay, so when we start the jet stream uh, with clean jet, so when we start jetting with cleaning, okay, so start jetting, start jetting with cleaning, what happens is the system will start to pressurize, so the gear pump will fire up, uh, will pressurize the hydraulics and the rest of the system, but before we actually activate the inkjet at the printhead, what we do is we send makeup to the printhead, uh, through the gum body, through the nozzle, and into the gutter, so we flush out uh, those critical components in the print head. Once we do that, we switch over to the ink jet and start jetting with ink. Um, when we shut the printer down with clean jet, the ink jet will deactivate and then we run the cleaning process. Okay, once cleaning is completed, the system will depressurize and it's done. So those are kind of the two different ways that clean jet is used. Okay, so we'll start off by going into detail uh, on what you should see if we start jetting with cleaning or start jetting with clean jet, okay? So what's gonna happen is if we start jetting with cleaning, again, the gear pump will fire up, we'll start to pressurize the printer. Um, but again, before we actually uh, activate the ink jet in the print head, um, we will do a clean jet first. So what we do is we pull makeup out of our makeup cartridge right here. Um, so we have a dedicated diaphragm pump that you'll see in the back. We have a makeup pump that pulls makeup out of the cartridge. We open up valve four on the manifold. We'll get a look at that as well. Um, that will allow us to direct that makeup through the umbilical out to the print head. Um, at the print head, there's no valve. Uh, we send the makeup basically straight to the output side of our ink valve. So from there forward, we basically fill the ink circuit in the print head. So the ink line going to the gum body, the gum body out of the nozzle of the gum body and into the gutter. Um, since the gear pump is running and we're generating pressure in the system, we're also generating a vacuum as well. Um, so that makeup will go into the gutter and actually get sucked back into the mix tank, again, since we do have a vacuum active. Um, so again, not a lot of hardware in line here. We've got our cartridge, the pin socket assembly it slides into, a diaphragm pump, a valve, and then uh, we do have a check valve in the print head that we'll discuss too, but there's not a whole lot uh, in play here. So when we start jetting with cleaning, that's what's happening uh, for us to deliver makeup to the print head. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take the print head out of the sleeve, take the inner cover off, so you can actually see makeup coming in uh, and jetting prior to the system switching over to the inkjet. Okay, so we're looking at the print head, uh, hopefully to give you guys a better idea of what's going on here when we use clean jet. Um, so we're gonna uh, eventually start jetting with cleaning here so you guys can actually see that clean jet. Um, but just to show you some of the, the hardware items in line here and where the makeup is coming from, uh, this is our makeup line right here. Okay, so you, you will probably notice we have the inner stainless cover removed here. You guys have probably seen us do that uh, in our other videos. So normally there's just an inner cover 
that's hiding you know, our valves and our hydraulic lines here. There's just four screws that hold that in place. We've got that off just so you can see what's going on in here a little bit better. So um, to show you really quick, uh, what we have is our makeup line coming in. So it's this middle hydraulic line here. It does have a blue stripe in it. So the blue stripe line is the makeup line going to the print head. So this is actually, uh, it has a blue stripe all the way into the hydraulic uh, cabinet in the back of our printer. Um, the entire makeup line will have a blue stripe. Okay, so in a moment here, we're gonna start jetting with cleaning uh, and show you guys what proper operation should look like with clean jet. So what we're gonna be looking for is uh, a jet of straight makeup coming across from our nozzle to the gutter. Um, now, there are a few other operations taking place here when we do clean jet. There are some back flushing processes that the printer does. Um, we're not really worried about that right now. We'll actually cover that in a different video. That ties into our back flush or bleed circuit for the system. We're specifically looking to make sure that we have a jet of straight makeup going into the gutter in this scenario. So again, what we're going to be looking for before the inkjet activates is the clean jet. And we should be able to see it fairly clearly here. Again, if, if everything's working properly, it's gonna be just clear makeup shooting across here into the gutter. So there should be a little bit of contrast, you know, between that stream of clear makeup and um, the black uh, front board of the printhead here. So we should be able to see it fairly clearly. Okay, so we've started jetting and spe more specifically, we've started jetting with cleaning. So in a moment here, what we're looking for again is that jet of makeup uh, coming across here between the deflection plates. So that diaphragm pump or makeup pump is running right now. And we do have a clean jet. I think you guys can see it. Um, so we've got that kind of whitish or clear jet shooting across there. So now the system is running a couple bleed cycles and it's gonna switch to ink after that. And there's our ink. Okay, so you've seen what a normal clean jet should look like when you're starting jetting with cleaning. Um, if you were stopping jetting with cleaning, it would just be in the reverse of what you just saw, okay? So the ink jet would deactivate, then we'd have the cleaning jet. Um, a couple of symptoms that would tell us that clean jet is not functioning properly are uh, one, if clean jet starts and you don't see that clear fluid coming out, okay? If it seems uh, tainted or, or dark, you know, depending on the ink type you're using, if it's black or yellow, um, if you're not seeing any makeup, it just looks more like ink or maybe a bit of ink followed by a little bit of makeup. Um, that would be a good indicator that our check valve on the makeup line has failed, meaning that while the system is running, ink is bleeding back up the makeup line. So when we go to use clean jet, we have to force all that ink out first before we get to makeup. Um, so we'll discuss how to troubleshoot and replace that check valve for that scenario. Uh, the other scenario would be no clean jet whatsoever. Um, there could be a few different culprits in that scenario. Okay, we've got our makeup pump, okay, our makeup diaphragm pump, our makeup valve, going, uh, that helps us get makeup out to the print head. We do have an inline filter on the makeup line. Um, very unlikely culprit, but it is a possibility. Then we've got the easy stuff. We've got our makeup cartridge, makeup pin socket assembly, things of that nature that could potentially have problems to uh, keep us or prevent us from having a clean jet. So we'll look at those hardware items as well and make sure they're all functioning properly. Okay, so we're gonna look at the makeup check valve in the print head first. So the first scenario we discussed of potential uh, problems with clean jet Again, as if we have, uh, when our clean jet is activated, but we have you know, primarily ink coming out instead of makeup. So in that scenario, again, check valve is very likely the culprit. Um, so we're gonna show you how to replace that check valve. This is a very inexpensive component. Uh, the squid ink part number is 2006770. That's the one-way check valve uh, for our print head makeup line. So um, what you actually see here is a, a slightly older version. Any production model is gonna have a stainless steel check valve. So you're gonna see me install that style. Um, very straightforward. We've just got hydraulic lines on each side of the check valve. 
and uh, little fittings that slide over to help lock the tubing in place. So we're gonna put our stainless check valve in place of this plastic style. Easy way to determine which way the check valve needs to go. This actually does thread together, so you'll see the short side. There's even a little bit of Teflon tape on the threads. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the side that's pointing out towards our print head, okay? So all we're gonna do here is slide these two fittings back. We're gonna pop the tubing off. Um, a, a small side cutter is always hand, uh, helpful to get the tubing off of the check valve. Uh, one thing I'll point out before we actually do this is always a good idea to stop jetting when you're doing something like this, when you're working on the print head. Uh, we don't want to accidentally nip uh, ink line or you know even just hit the stream if the, if the system was jetting right now. So make sure you're not jetting. You can turn the system off and, uh, before you do something like this. So again, we're just going to get the check valve out and replace it. Okay, so we've got our new stainless check valve housing here. Um, so again, make sure the short side here is pointing down the length of the print head. All right, then we're just gonna reconnect these two tubes. You can trim these up a little bit if you need to, if you cause any damage when you're removing the old check valve. And if you do need more tubing, um, you know, especially on this side, you can actually loosen up the back of the print head here and slide some more tubing out. Uh, typically there's plenty in the head to finish this off. Okay, so we've got our new check valve installed. Really straightforward, uh, quick process. What you'll wanna do once you install the new check valve is uh, just run jetting with cleaning one more time. Make sure uh, we've got makeup coming through here and once the system switches over to ink, make sure we don't have any ink on this side of the check valve, okay? Okay, uh, if we have no makeup coming out whatsoever when we initiate a clean jet uh, prior to switching over to ink or vice versa. Um, there are quite a few different items that could uh, cause that problem. Okay, so this is if we're not getting any makeup through to the gum body, out of the nozzle, and into the gutter. Okay, so the first things you wanna look at are the really basic things, okay? Don't overlook the easy stuff. So um, we wanna take a look at our makeup cartridge first. All right, so again, this is where we're getting the makeup from for our clean jet. Of course, make sure it's got fluid in it. Uh, if it doesn't and it's still reading as full, you'll wanna watch our video on troubleshooting, adding ink and makeup to the system. Um, just make sure uh, that the cartridge is punctured. This kind of ties into our pin socket assembly. Uh, if you're curious how to troubleshoot that, also review our troubleshooting, adding ink and makeup to the system video. So make sure your cartridge is good. Make sure your pin socket assembly is good. From there, we're gonna look at our makeup diaphragm pump and our, our valve, our makeup valve in the uh, hydraulic part of the system. Okay, so we've got the back door of the printer open, printer is powered off, um, just so we can look at a couple components in the back here. Um, the first is we've got our makeup diaphragm pump, okay? So that is the pump on the right. Uh, and again, to, to troubleshoot this, again, same exact process as we use in our, our troubleshooting, adding ink or makeup uh, to the mix tank or to the hydraulic video, okay? 
Um, so you can use system diagnostic to verify whether or not this is functioning. That video also shows how to disassemble one of these pumps and make sure everything is okay. So this is our makeup pump right here. Pretty easy to tell apart from the ink pump. You've got nice clear lines, whereas the ink pump has uh, you know, dark lines or yellow or blue or green, whatever color the ink is that you're using. So uh, very easy to make a distinction between the two. So this is our makeup pump. Okay, so the only other culprit back here uh, that could potentially be an issue is valve four. Okay, so valve four is the valve that opens when we deliver makeup out to the print head for a clean jet. Um, typically, this valve only handles makeup. It should be very clean. It still can be disassembled and, and checked. Make sure it's clean, make sure there's no obstructions. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, make sure you watch our video on troubleshooting adding ink and makeup to the hydraulics or to the mix tank, uh, we cover uh, disassembling that uh, exact same type of valve in that video. The only other hardware component back here that maybe could be a, a problem is our inline filter on our makeup line. So if you guys remember for, from earlier in the video, the blue striped line in the entire system, the blue striped line is our makeup line which is right here. You can see that blue stripe. Okay, and this is our makeup inline filter. So we do filter the makeup before it goes out to the print head. Uh, maybe this could get plugged up and uh, inhibit the flow of that makeup out to the head. So this is something you can look at too. Um, we'll put the part numbers up on the video for each of these components. You have likely seen us take one of these inline filters apart in our other videos. Um, really straightforward, inexpensive. Um, if this is a problem, you can just replace it and you should be good to go. All right, so that concludes our video on troubleshooting the clean jet portion of our Jetstream CIJ printer. Uh, if you wanna see more videos on the Jetstream or any of our other products, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also don't hesitate to head over to squidink.com to get even more information on our entire product line. Thanks again.